and you erase this. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, now what we have is an arithmetic sequence, and what I want to do is be able to find the formula for the arithmetic sequence, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to be able to subtract these, right? Here's a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. I need to subtract each one of these terms to be able to get them to find the difference. So the main important thing, what I would do is, since I go ahead and see fractions, I would make sure I convert these all to be fractions, so therefore I can easily simplify, or easily subtract them, all right? So that means I notice that they have a base of, or a denominator of 2. So let's make this 4, negative 1, rewrite them as a base of 2. So therefore, this can be rewritten as 8 over 2, 3 over 2, negative 2 over 2, and negative 7 over 2. Didn't change the problem. Didn't change the answers. All I did is I rewrote them now so they all have a denominator of 2. Now I look at this and I say, OK. So what do I have? 3 over 2 minus 8 over 2 has to be equal to negative 2 over 2 minus 3 over 2, which also has to be equal to negative 7 over 2 minus negative 2 over 2. And what I notice is there's a common theme, right? The difference between each one of those is a negative 5 halves, right? Yes? Yeah. Um, so therefore, you guys can see that's the difference. So don't freak out when you see the fractions. Just try to work with them as best we can. So now we know that d is equal to a negative 5 halves. So now that we know what d equals negative 5 halves, um, we can go back to our formula, which states a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. OK? Or just try, you're going to just try to use our formula. Right? So we know um, for a sub n, which means can be for any va value, we now know what, a sub, we know what a sub 1 is, which is 4, n minus 1, and then here's our d. So we just say a sub n is going to be the rule for 4 plus n minus 1, and then our d is a negative 5 halves. So now what we can do is apply distributive property. So we have a sub n equals 4. Um, this is now going to be minus 5 halves n plus 5 halves. Yes? Yes? Why is it equal? Go ahead, A k plus one. I don't know. I would, I'll go and look at your what you're using um, or your thing right now. I'm just. Because it's like. Um, it's like a k plus. So. That is to find a two. A one a over two minus five over two. Well, I'm not done yet. I'm not done with the formula yet. So the last thing we need to do is we need to combine the 5 halves and the 4, right? And remember, we rewrote 4 as 8 halves, right? So I can rewrite this as 8 halves. And then what I can do is a sub n equals negative 5 halves n plus 13 over 2. And then that would be your final formula. So that means whatever number you plug in for n is going to be your considering term and then the value of that term. Did you just combine yes, I combined the, yes, those are what I combined. Oh, but you need to 